You know what? I used to spend like eight hours writing my newsletter, but recently I found this new process with a new tool that I'm able to do it in just two hours. So in this video, I want to show you the exact steps of how I use this new tool, Audio Pen AI, to do my creative process. Then maybe you can judge whether you like it or not, and maybe you can integrate in your creative process as well. And before I record this video, I actually went out to the founder and I said, hey, I'm making a video about your tool. Do you think you can give me something for my audience? And he said, yes. And I'll give you a hint, C-O-D-E. <laughs> Did you get it? Before I tell you my newsletter writing process that goes out to maybe like 3,300 people right now, I want you to look at how simple the interface is. We are on the audiopan.ai page and you can see the UI is very, very simple. It has a few buttons at the corner, but essentially what you're looking at is this big record button. And then you are looking at your past notes. So maybe we can try it out together. Okay, wow, it's starting now. Um, hey, my name is Kavon. I like to teach building in public. I don't believe that it's just about being vulnerable and sharing your ups and downs of your journey. But I really think that it's also about um, 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 blah, blah, blah. I forgot my thought. <laughs> I'm doing this on purpose. But I really think it's about involving your community. Like you are collecting feedback, you're listening to them, you're getting signals. So then it helps you build the products that people want. So basically keeping that communication channel. All right, let's pause it. So I will pause the video as well so you don't have to wait with me. Please pay attention that it is not a transcription service. So I'm not looking for like someone to write the minutes for me. I'm looking for someone to do the writing for me based on my audio note. Okay, now we're done here and you can see it has a title for me and it has some of the languages that I use. It's kind of like transcription, but it takes away all my um, um, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about things. And you can see, I generally believe that this is engaging with your community. We're talking about feedback, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's dive in. <laughs> you see, this is basically all the things that I want to say, but in a very, very nice format and it's ready to be published. Really? Bye. No, seriously, that's the end of the tutorial. It's simple as that. All right end the video here. And now you know why I like the tool because it's just so simple. It's not over complicating things. And yes, I promise you that I have something for you, right? Since I've been a big fan of Lewis's work, he is happy to share the code Kevon, K-E-V-O-N with you guys. So if you use the code, you can actually get 10% off. That's a pretty good deal. And hey, if you like that, I go out there, talk to Lewis and get this discount for you. Would you like this video? This video is not sponsored, so please like the video. <laughs> All right, I know it's time to talk about how I actually use AudioPen AI to write my newsletter. Okay, so now you're looking at my Notion document. I always have one page for each of the article, newsletter, or video that I'm doing. If you scroll down, this is actually called Build in Private, Earn in Public. It's an essay that I was writing. So one thing you need to know about me is that I'm not someone who can just say my thoughts out loud. I'm actually better if I can be just quiet and write some outline down in bullet points. And as you can see, they're quite rough. I'm not caring so much about the writing process, writing style, just dumb every information I have about this topic. And what I do is I look at the outline, I go to audio pen and I just talk to a friend, the audio pen friend, and it will bring me back this whole piece of writing in a very short way then i paste it back on my notion and i would just have two of the same page open and now i can write my essay in a very fast way because all the bullet points are in my writing format so i can basically just expand on it some of the lines i don't even need to change it and to make my writing better i would do something like oh let me add some bullet points so that the reader can reflect upon themselves. And of course, I would also use this chance to add some links to my other articles that the AI cannot help me do. And I would also add some opening because I want to read it like a friend. So I would add things like, I have something to admit to you. Building public is actually flawed because the AI wouldn't be able to write that for me, but I can add it easily by myself. But have you thought about how did the writing coming out from audiopan.ai sound like Kavon? That's a mystery. Well, that's the AI part, right? Let me show you a little more. All right, now we're back to audiopan.ai. So the magic thing is there's this settings button because I have the Prime account. So the first thing you can do is you can actually 
change the rewrite level. There's low, medium, high, and I right now choose high. And basically it says, Audio Pen may restructure its content if needed based on my writing style. Wow, cool. And there are multiple writing styles here. You can see uh, it can do a casual memo, simple and clear, descriptive, legal, but I actually choose a uh, write like me and you can paste in some of your writing from previous articles uh, you cannot paste in too much i think you can paste in like again like 400 words or something and you can basically give a prompt to the ai write in a style similar to the following text and you can see uh, my preferred writing style is very casual conversational so that's why Audio Pen is able to generate that kind of writing style for me as well. And you can also pick the output length. So this is uh, short and crips. This is uh, medium length. And then this is longer and more detailed. I like longer and more detailed because I like to write long form. Uh, the other neat thing that I won't go too much into detail, but you can like add in some special words. So you're making sure that it doesn't spell your name wrong. Like Kavan is always like K-E-V-A-N or something in many different tools. I don't know why. Uh, you can also set up integration with Zapier, folder management. I don't even have folders. <laughs> I don't need it. But yeah, now you get it. I kind of know what you're thinking right now. Maybe you're like, Kavan, you already have the outline. Why don't you just write the final version based on the outline? It is not that simple. You know, to write the final essay based on bullet points, I actually need to go through a lot. Like I need to form the writing style first and I also need to think about how to make it conversational. So there are multiple steps in the process which can be quite sophisticated and complicated. But once I add in this audio pen step, I can do a few things. Like number one, I can go crazy about the bullet point because sometimes if I'm repeating myself, that's okay. And second of all, sometimes you have more thoughts in your head and you're just not able to get it out because you're not talking to someone verbally like if you're just sitting here trying to write an essay it just doesn't come through so when i have audio pen i can basically start forming new ideas in my head and maybe i can bring in something new as well and that would go into the final piece and so basically what i'm saying is that it's much easier to turn a conversational draft into a conversational final essay and audio pen helps with that all right, now's the end of the video. If you like my video and the audio pen, maybe consider subscribing to my channel so then we can see each other more. All right, let's do that. Shall we? Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, basically, I was pretty active on Twitter slash X, and I saw this guy named Lewis. He has been building his tool in public, showing the steps, showing his thoughts, showing his plan, showing his mistake, showing his worries. And I just like that. I love people who are very transparent in their process. Didn't get the tool when it first came out. And I waited and waited, and I said, I like the founder, and I really want to try out how this can help me write better. So I did it. Like, I'm not an easy guy to win over, but he did. So here is his profile on Twitter slash X. And I found a few tweets. So maybe we can look at it together. Um, this one says, I'm struggling with a design problem for days. And then the solution just arrived, blah, 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 blah. I love it. It's so open about what he's struggling with. And then there is another post about a local media channel is doing an interview with me. And I have to tell them that my bedroom is my office. That's quite funny. And then he said, uh, I have another design breakthrough. Wow, exciting. Nice. And then the last one is like, oh, I shipped this new feature. Now you can organize notes into a folder. I hope you like it. And then he would also listen to feedback. And that's why I think he really did a fantastic job building in public with his community.